This is the easiest villager breeder for Minecraft Bedrock, and as always, there will be a world download in the description. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is find a place to build the villager breeder and make sure it's at least 150 blocks away from all other villagers and villages and especially iron farms. Make sure it's at least 150 blocks away from iron farms. That way you don't accidentally break your iron farm. After finding a place to build the villager breeder, we're gonna dig out a three by three hole and then dig down another layer so that we're left with a three by three by two deep hole. After doing that, we're gonna place down a temporary block in the middle and a building block on top of the temporary block. Go ahead and break that temporary block and then place down four trap doors going around the center block. The next thing you want to do is place down four temporary blocks on top of this block. So one, two, three, and four blocks like this. We're going to go ahead and break this third block now and place down an upside down dropper. So just climb across on your trap door, place down your upside down dropper. Then we're going to grab our composters, place a composter on both sides of that block and a glass block on the back. We're going to get the villager in here and then we're going to place down the glass block. So for right now, we're just going to leave it. All right, the next thing you need to do is transport two villagers over to your villager breeder. And after doing that, we're now going to put them inside of the chamber. So the first thing you want to do is remove these two temporary blocks. And then we're going to remove this trap door temporarily, replace it with a building block and then place down a rail. Leave this center block without a rail. That way they actually disengage with the rail when they're inside of the chamber. We're then going to go ahead and push this first villager into the chamber just like that. We're then going to place down a temporary block on one of these composters. Place down a slab right here upside down. Go ahead and break your temporary block now. And we're going to also break his minecart. So now he is inside of the hole. We're now going to do the same thing with the next villager. We're going to push him into the area. Go ahead and break his minecart as well. And we now have two villagers inside of our chamber. Now we're going to break this rail and the temporary block. Replace the trap door that we placed down earlier, and now we can go ahead and open all of these up. And just clean up your area and get rid of any rails that you use to get the villagers inside of the chamber. Alright, after your villagers are inside of the villager breeder, we're then going to place down a temporary block above this trap door, and we're going to break this block and replace it with a piece of glass. Go ahead and break that temporary block, and if you haven't already, throw down a torch on the block the villagers are standing on. I actually can't break the torch because the villagers are in the way, so yeah, place down a torch on this block right here. We're then going to fly up here or climb up here and wrap a bunch of blocks around the dispenser to create a 3x3 platform. Go ahead and break your temporary block here and place down four beds in a circle just like this. You can see that they linked up to those beds. So now they are ready to breed and the two extra beds are so that they actually have room to grow the village. We're then going to go ahead and break this middle block right here, place down a lever on that dropper, and this is how we're going to feed our villagers. All right, there's one more thing we need to do before we can start breeding these guys, and that's by placing down a water bucket in one of these corners. So the water is flowing down into this corner, so this is going to be where all of the baby villagers end up. Now you have a couple options from here. You can either send your baby villagers away in a minecart, or you can send them through another portal, or you can just create a giant water stream. It's really up to you, but it's super important that you get the baby villagers out of here. That way they aren't linked to these beds. And in order to breed villagers, you need to give them food. So we're going to go ahead and throw in nine stacks of bread into this dropper. That way we can just flick the lever and then they will get the food and then they will breed. Now an important note is I went ahead and put bread in here and there's a very good reason for that. In order for villagers to breed, they need to have 12 points of food and bread is worth four, whereas everything else is only worth one. So carrots, beetroot, or potatoes will only give you one point of food, whereas bread will give you four. So bread is the superior breeding food, but if you don't have that, that is perfectly okay. You're just, need, you're just gonna need to give them more food. So all you need to do is go ahead and flick this lever repeatedly, that way they collect the food, and if you wanted to automate this with some sort of like redstone clock, you very well could, but as you can see, they are now trading the bread, and in a minute you're going to see the love particles, which means that they're breeding, and then we'll have a little baby villager pop out, he's going to walk off the trap door, and then we can go ahead and send him away. Alright, as you can see, they are now breeding, so any minute now we are going to have a baby villager pop out, you're going to see him spawn at their feet, and then he is going to walk off relatively quickly. 
And there we go, he actually just got shot right out. So we have got a baby villager here, and if they still have enough food, they're gonna breed again because there's still an empty bed. So that way we can have two villagers, and yeah, as you can see, I gave them enough food. They're gonna make a second baby villager, and then this is going to be maxed out. So that is the limit for baby villagers or villagers that you can have inside of this villager breeder. So in order to have more villages, villagers spawn, we're gonna need to go ahead and get these guys out of here. And the easiest way to do that is just doing a little of this and don't run away, it's fine, I promise. We're gonna go ahead and kill that guy off too. And as you can see, they are breeding again. So in an ideal world, you wouldn't be killing your villagers because that's kind of meaningless, but you would be transporting them away to somewhere far away where they unlink from the beds. All right, that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my second channel. It'll be on screen and in the description. With that said though, my name is 1UpMC and I'll catch you guys in the next one.